Desktop frame, trash icon. Hello, welcome to the Sonar Project. Thank you for joining us today. You can find us at sonar-project.org. Today we're going to be looking at Orca and its preferences to see exactly what we can customize within the Orca screen. After you've installed Sonar GNU Linux, you should see the Orca preferences box automatically open. I have mine shut off by default, so what I'm going to do is turn it on by pressing, if you're using a laptop, you'll be pressing the caps lock key in the spacebar. If you're using the desktop key, the desktop keyboard, you'll be pressing insert in the spacebar. So let's open up the Orca preferences. Starting Orca preferences. Orca preferences, general page tab. So automatically we're on the general page. So what I'm going to do here is just tab through so you can hear the settings. And then I'm going to tell you what I do to maneuver through the, uh, the Orca menu here. So right now I'm in the general settings and I'm going to tab through. Keyboard layout panel laptop, selected radio button. Now if I wanted to change the settings or here, I would use the up and down arrow key within this setting, but I'm going to tab again. User interface panel show Orca main window checkbox not checked. If you want to uncheck that box or check it, you would press the space bar. Quit Orca without confirmation checkbox not checked. Mouse panel present tooltips checkbox not checked. Speak object under mouse checkbox not checked. Time and date panel time format 12.50.43 p.m. combo box. Date format 09-24-2012 combo box. Profiles panel active profile default combo box. Load push button. Same as push button. Startup profile. Default combo box. Help push button. Apply push button. Cancel push button. OK push button. General page tab. OK, and I've tabbed back through the general page. So now what I'm going to do is press the right arrow key. Voice page tab. Now I'm going to tab through the voice page. Voice type settings panel voice type. Default combo box. Speech system. Speech dispatcher combo box. Speech synthesizer. Default synthesizer combo box. Person. Default default voice end combo box. Rate. Slider 70. Pitch, .0. Now, if I want to change the rate and the pitch, I would be pressing the arrow keys to the left and right to change the rate and pitch. Volume, .0. Here, I'd be pressing left and right arrow also. Global voice settings panel break. Speech into chunks between pauses. Checkbox checked. Speak multi case strings as words. Checkbox not checked. Say all by sentence combo box. Help push button. Apply push button. Cancel push button. OK push button. Voice page tab. Now I've tabbed back through to the beginning of the voice tab. I'm going to write arrow again. Speech page tab. Now we're on the speech, pa speech page, and I'm going to be tabbing through this. Enable speech checkbox checked. Repository panel verbose. Selected radio button. Table rows panel speak row. Selected radio button. Punctuation level panel most. Selected radio button. Spoken context panel only speak displayed text checkbox not checked. Speak blank lines checkbox checked. Speak indentation and justification checkbox not checked. Speak object mnemonics checkbox not checked. Speak child position checkbox not checked. Speak tutorial messages checkbox not checked. Progress bar update panel enabled checkbox checked. Frequency text, 10 selected spin button. Restrict to application combo box. Help push button, apply push button, cancel push button, OK push button, speech page tab. So I've tabbed back through the speech page. I'm going to write arrow over again. Braille page tab. Here's the Braille page. You can set up your Braille displays from this setting here. So let's go through here. Enable Braille support checkbox not checked. And again, I'm tabbing through this section. Enable Braille monitor checkbox not checked. Display settings panel disable end online symbol checkbox not checked. Abbreviated role names checkbox not checked. Enable contracted braille checkbox not checked. Contraction table, Arabic grade 1 combo box. Repository panel verbos, selected radio button. Selection indicator panel dot 7 and 8, selected radio button. Hyperlink indicator panel dot 7 and 8, selected radio button. Help push button, apply push button, cancel push button, OK push button, braille page tab. OK, and I've tabbed back through the braille page, so I'm going to write arrow over here again. Key echo page tab. Here's the set your key echoes, we're going to tab through. Enable key echo checkbox not checked. Enable echo by character checkbox not checked. Enable echo by word checkbox checked. Enable echo by sentence checkbox not checked. Help push button. Apply push button. Cancel push button. OK push button. Key echo page tab. OK, we've tabbed through the key echo, and I'm going to write arrow over again. Key bindings page tab. Here's the set the key bindings. I'm probably not going to go through everything in here, but you'll get an idea of what you can set with the key bindings. There's Nothing that you can't control with key bindings, basically, which is a great thing with with Orca. Here we go. Orca modify key S caps underscore lock combo box. 
Function column header or correct handed 71 items modified checkbox not checked. Tree level 1. Ec bookmark where am I with respect to current position. Alt underscore L plus shift plus 1 modified checkbox not checked. Tree bookmark where am I with respect to current position. Alt underscore L plus shift plus 2 modified checkbox not bookmark where am I with respect to current position. Alt underscore L plus shift plus 3 modified checkbox not checked. Bookmark where am I with respect to current position. Alt underscore L plus shift plus 4 modified checkbox not bookmark where am I with respect 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 Okay, push button. Key bindings page tab. Now we're gonna right arrow over again because we're back at the beginning. Pronunciation page tab. Here's the pronunciation page. Pronunciation dictionary panel table. New entry push button. Delete push button. Help push button. Apply push button. Cancel push button. Okay, push button. Pronunciation page tab. And we are gonna right arrow again. Text attributes page tab. We're at the text at attributes page. Text attributes panel attribute name column header size speak check box checked mark in braille check box checked. And I'm go of course I'm tabbing through here again. Reset push button. Adjust selected attributes panel move to top push button. Move up one push button. Move down one push button. Move to bottom push button. Braille indicator panel done. Select help push button. Apply push button. Cancel push button. Okay push button. Text attributes page tab. Now we're gonna right arrow over again. General page tab. And we're back at the general settings. So these are the just a, a quick uh, overview of the Orca preferences and the settings. We thank you for joining us. Again, you can visit us at sonar-project.org. We have a mailing list you can join. We have a wiki that we're currently working on and expanding. We also have a contact form where you can email us if you have any questions about Sonar GNU Linux or even if you have just a question about accessibility and free software in general. The mailing, mailing list is also a great place to join us at. So. If you have any questions on the mailing list, you can ask. It's not just only Sonar questions. You can ask anything about any GNU Linux distribution or any sort of assistive technology. Hopefully, we can answer your questions there. So thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Desktop. Top expanded edge panel. Top device user device menu. Stop.